It's Margarita. And today we are taking it back to Kriegler with their newest release, Boudoir Renaissance 223. I got a new Kriegler. I got a new Kriegler. Yes, you all know how much I love Kriegler and I managed to get my hands on a bottle of their newest release, Boudoir Renaissance. Now, this was released in 2023 and I was a little bit hesitant to want to try this because it's supposed to be a new take on Oud. And you all know I am very Oud shy. But I am proud to announce not only is this Oud very wearable, it's actually fresh. This is described as a spicy gourmand woody fragrance and the notes are raspberry, cypress, malt blend, black currant, rose, cedar, coffee beans, labdanum, oud, patchouli, black tea, and tobacco. Now half of these notes I like, half of them I typically steer clear from. That said, the ones that I like are far more dominant than the ones that I don't. And oh goodness, okay. This smells almost like a deep champagne. I'm getting some bubbly effervescence and it could be the black tea, which I love black tea and the raspberry. The raspberry is so nicely done that it's not a sickening raspberry. So it doesn't smell like um, there's a Tom Ford one that's kind of nice. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's, it's uh, basically uh, it's got a raspberry top and oh, it's escaping me right now, but it's a really nice one and it's, it's raspberry dominant and this does not smell like anything else I've smelled from Kriegler or actually anything else I've smelled at all. So if you're looking for something unique, this is definitely a good one. Um, Hubby tried this and he loved it. He said verbatim, if you do not keep this bottle, I want it. <laughs> now, quite frankly, this is a little masculine. So I think I will let him have the bottle in his collection. He can keep it up there um, because he's more likely to reach for it than I am. But that said, Ladies, do not be shy of this. I'm trying to give you all some more practical things, maybe to compare it to something, but I would just say it's like a very faint raspberry tea with a little bit of smoke to it. So if you want something that's deep and rich without being loud, this is not a loud fragrance. You may have to be a little bit more heavy handed if you wanted to project a whole lot, but close to the skin, oh, it's very, very nice. It's sophisticated. It smells expensive. It is expensive, <laughs> but it's, it's very elegant. I don't think this is safe to wear to work um, unless you do choose to be a light sprayer. Over spraying this, don't do it because it will make the oud boom. However, if you like to just keep the raspberry and the tea notes as your dominant ones, then spray lightly. This performs amazingly on clothes and I mean like at least eight to 10 hours on clothes. On skin, it does sit close. So if you just wanna spritz your clothes, that may be enough. If you wanna spritz this on before bedtime or before a nice close encounter, you know, I recommend this as well, but it is truly, truly a renaissance of oud because this was not an oud I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more earthy, more gritty, more gross, if you will, because I don't like oud or patchouli. I don't smell the patchouli at all, which again is great. I'm just getting light nuances of raspberry and tea. That said, have you gotten your nose on this? Um, a lot of people have not, and I too hadn't until just recently, but I'm so glad to have it. If you'd like to try this, I have samples of this available on my website, as well as anything else that I think is worth sharing in my collection, whistlenotes.com. Also, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time that I put up an upload. And also, share this so that more people can know about my channel because I love fragrances and I'm sure so many of you do too. And I like the world to know about my love of fragrances. And until next time, I am Margarita and you have an awesome day. Bye.